One of the things I really like about this car is the seating position. Uh, I've got longer legs and I can get pretty far back, very upright, and the steering wheel is basically like as far back as I'd like it. In fact, in most cars, I'd like it further back. But in this one, I can actually get this so close that I prefer to push it forward just a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me. And the ergonomics are great on this car. It does exactly what you need a car to do. It goes down the road effortlessly. It's very comfortable. It's not a noisy car, but you, uh, you, you can both hear and feel the motor at lovely five-cylinder growl. These five-cylinders have great character. I own a 2001 T5 wagon, and uh, I know this motor sound very well. And uh, it's among my favorite motors, favorite sort of everyday motors. It's good character. Westchester right now, just outside of Croton, in Westchester, New York, and uh, after we drive some of these back roads, I'm then going to set, I'm going to head across the river to, uh, to Speedwork, New York, Nyack, and then I'm going to take this to Leonia, New Jersey, and I did the drive from Leonia yesterday to here. Last night, actually, uh, and uh, in traffic, and this car did very well. I was really happy with the way it felt. It's super comfortable. It works. The suspension's compliant. It has decent power. Lights are great. The windows go up and down. The AC functions. The heat works. You know, all the basic stuff is there, and it's it's very clean. It's just a nice place to be. You know, there there are few issues. Uh, when I do a walk around, I'll show you the you know the tiny stuff, the little imperfections you expect on an unrestored original car that was certainly used, uh, but with only 52,000 miles, has a lot of life in it. Something that I was talking to someone about recently, 
fact, it was Ike Kidman who owns this car. We were having this discussion about safety and active safety. And the difference being that there's passive safety, which this car happens to have the best passive safety equipment of the time. It was one of the first cars with side and black airbags. The, it was, in fact, the, the first year for the 850 that they had uh, side impact airbags as standard equipment. And it has uh, strengthened door bars, reinforced seats, all a part of the SIPS system, which is the side impact protection system. And while this car has a superior passive safety equipment and for the time really unparalleled, this, uh, this car also has a high level of dynamic safety. The steering is very good, it's good feedback. The, uh, the brakes are good, the suspension is well damped, the body motions are well controlled. And the ergonomics are very good. It's comfortable, you know, things that help to keep you calm and focused without being detached. And the combination of things, including the very stable front wheel drive platform and good sight lines, a great greenhouse, all these things, both the uh, active and passive safety aspects make this car a real good choice for a first time driver, someone who's interested in classics, is new to driving and needs all the safety features, or someone that's safety conscious, potentially going to put their family in this car, but wants a classic. And of course, you know, the 850s, unless they're very special, are pretty affordable. So even the best of them, like this car, being an excellent example, with 52,000 miles, is still accessible to anyone with any, any normal sort of classic budget within, within a, a realistic range. This car is very affordable, very reliable, parts are available, there's a community, a very helpful community out there. Um, Volvo people are really nice, they're classic Volvo people, and uh, very open, very easy to work with. hear my uh, cell phone bouncing around in here and let it put it in a better spot. You can hear that's like the one sound is my phone moving around in the console. Let's see if I can do something about that. I'll put the stuff back here in the cargo net. Alright. school aspects of this car. It has a uh, pretty large steering wheel, large diameter. Reminds me of the, the earlier 240s, 700, 900 series cars. Or any, any new Volvo would have a, a smaller diameter wheel. So we're, we're done with the uh, back roads and what I'll do is get onto the Taconic 
which is pretty fast moving parkway. And we'll get it up to speed. And that'll be it at the end of our drive. Thank you for joining me.